Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming New Makeup Releases episode number three. So if you guys like to chat about all the new makeup that has been shown and we've seen sneak peeks of, then this is the video for you. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do post quite often. So highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I just want to say every week, or I try every week to sit down and film a new makeup releases video where we talk about all the new releases because it's so much fun and it's a great way to kind of hear from you guys what you want to see on my channel so always feel free to share your opinions on what I should pick up. I also love to post on my community tab when new releases are shown because I just love chatting about new releases with you guys so anyway just want to let you know that and if you're wondering what is on my eyes today I did film this look it is coming up it is with the unearthly dreamer palette so I'm finally playing with it. I know, I know, I'm so late to the party, but either which way, I had so much fun creating this look. So stay tuned for that. Now we're gonna go ahead and slide on over so we can chat about some new releases. Okay, so Valentine's is in like full swing in my humble opinion, and there are some things that we need to chat about. First off, of course, I feel like we need to talk about the newest collection from Glamlight. So I definitely was thinking like, are they gonna release their Kiss collection? I was a little bit confused, we had talked about that. But no, 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 they're starting 2024 off with their Valentine's collection, which is gonna be on 2224. So this is Glamlight's collaboration with Betty Boop. Now, I definitely grew up with Betty Boop. I'm so excited. It says on here, she's sassy, classy, and the queen of glam. She is the icon of the century. Get ready for the finest makeup launch ever. Anticipate to dive into the timeless elegance of a touch of vintage ultra glam. So, so far we've seen a few products revealed. I saw there's a mirror, there's a lip that they're coming out with. I feel like they're definitely going to give us an eyeshadow palette. So, I am very excited. Very different from their last Valentine's collection. So, yeah, I think this is going to be really, really cool. And I have been definitely experiencing a little bit of glam light -like fatigue with all of their collaborations and stuff like that. It is getting a little bit like tired with all their IPs, but they're apparently like blowing up on TikTok and the TikTok girlies, you know, they sell makeup. So I am assuming that this is gonna be another hit for the brand. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to place my order. If it's anything like the Garfield palette, which again, I was not expecting anything, from that Garfield palette, but I was so blown away by it. If it's anything like that, if the color story is a little bit more curated, a little bit unexpected, then I think we're gonna have a hit on our hands. So let me know, are you guys interested in Betty Boop? Is that something you grew up with? Is it tugging at your nostalgic heartstrings? I need to know all of the tea from you guys. Okay, next we have this, oh my gosh, hideous palette. I'm so sorry, Color Drain. I know they're an indie brand. I don't usually like to shape too hard on indie brands, but this is the Cam Quad Palette Volume 1, now available online. 16 shades of fun to create super beautiful, super pigmented, super easy, super blingy looks. I just want to know who's responsible for this. Who is responsible for this palette? First of all, the outer packaging looks like a vintage camera. It definitely looks like they ripped off the old Instagram logo. Very interesting choice there. But basically this is four quads that are jammed into one palette. And I just don't understand why. I don't understand why they didn't do this as quads. I feel like that would have made more sense. I don't know why they didn't make this a smaller packaging if they wanted all the shades to kind of be in there. I just don't understand why you would do such curated quads in a palette form like it doesn't make sense they could have arranged this better this could have been a beautiful kind of rectangle shaped palette 
it did need to be this square monstrosity. I'm guessing it's at least bigger than my hand because you can see the perspective in their picture. There's somebody holding it in their hand, but I'm just so baffled because Colored Rain used to be iconic, like their Queen of Hearts palette literally sold out multiple times. They couldn't even keep that palette in stock. This is one of my favorite indie brands that I first got into. I used to have all their singles, their lip products. I bought everything from Glamlight, and then they've just gone downhill ever since. And it's kind of sad to see that happen to a brand that you're really into, but I guess that's how life is, right? Not everything is always popular all of the time. Next, I wanted to talk about a few things that are available on Sephora now. These are app exclusives, I believe. So one is the One Size by Patrick Star Secure the Glow Tacky Hydrating Primer. Now, I low-key want to try this because I feel like it's going to be quite a bit like my favorite Milk Hydro Grip Primer, but I'm trying to pan that. I've been doing really good. Let me show it to you. Look at this. Look at this. Who, who is she? Who is this girl that's trying to use up some of our makeup? So I have that, so technically I don't need it. I did put it in my basket, but I'm like, Karen, you only have this amount of money in your bank account. If you spend the amount of money that you have in your bank account, you will no longer have the money that you have saved for your trip. So I'm trying to be logical, but sometimes I can be very logical with the makeup stuff. So I don't know what to do. I'm curious to try it though. There's also this lip sleeping mask. Listen, I think this lip sleeping mask formula is so overhyped, but bitches be loving it and they've found even more creative ways to sell it. So this is a candy, what is this flavor? Candy floss? Cotton candy? Oh my god, look at this. It's so cute. It's got a blue and pink swirl in it. It's adorable. But I personally don't think this is the most hydrating lip sleeping mask out there. So I need to say no, but it's so cute. I can see the 10 year old girlies at Sephora going nuts for this. It's definitely gonna sell out in my opinion. The other thing that is available at Sephora, and I feel like this is the one I can justify buying the most, it's the new Tatcha Matcha Cleanse Daily Clarifying Gel Cleanser. That sounds wonderful. So it says it is a fragrance-free, soap-free gel cleanser. How can you be soap-free? I'm not enough of a chemist to know the answer to that. Anyway, cleanses that decongest pores and balances oil without stripping to reduce makeup slip off for prime shine free skin. So I guess this is going to be really good for oily skin. Maybe not so much dry skin like I have. So I guess this was in my cart, but I probably don't need it. I do use the Tatcha Rice Cleanser. That is my everyday nighttime skincare like face wash. It's like my second or third step in my face cleansing routine. I love that stuff. I've repurchased it countless times. But this one I think, I was thinking like maybe I should get it. But I don't think it's for me. I think it's for oily skin. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Next we have this awful thing that P. Louise is doing. I mean, who's surprised? I was like, is this an eyeshadow palette? Is it a blush palette? But it looks like they're doing multiple, multiple things. So these are like their brand new chapter. That's what the collection is called. Launching on the 22nd. It looks like they have a brush set. They've also got this eyeshadow palette, I think it is. So it's like a double-sided palette. Half of it is pink, half of it is red. It kind of has like a Valentine's vibe to it, but I swear P. Louise has done this so, so many times. I'm so shocked that they're still continuing to make this kind of makeup. They also have what looks to be a blush and highlighter palette. It's kind of cute. It's got like a little bit of a heart shape to it. So that's adorable, really goes with that love is in the air theme, but oh my goodness, this is so bad. It's so P. Louise, it's so predictable. I'm tired just looking at it, palette. And I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking we were gonna see reds, maybe some neutrals because of the packaging. I thought they would really base this off of the packaging. But I think this is such a fun twist. I think that the reds 
and the pinks and the purples they're just such classic valentine's shades i don't think that bella beauté bar has anything like this in their lineup so it's going to be really fun if you like a more curated color story i just love this brand's formula so so much it's one of my favorites so i'm always happy when they come out with new palettes and i did see that deandra and nicole talked about these launching together so it's going to be great because you can save on shipping and stuff like that which you guys know i hate paying for shipping so i'm so glad that you can pick both palettes up at the same time really helps people out on that it might end up being a little bit more upfront if you want to buy both palettes at the same time but oh my gosh i feel like she did such a good job with her mba collab but this it's a formula i love so i know it's going to be even better and she just killed it so anyway sorry i keep talking about the ultraviolet palette but i'm actually wanting to talk about the dead roses palette both are gorgeous i think they would pair really well together and they're definitely coming home to me as soon as they get here i'm gonna be playing with them okay, next i want to show you guys a few things that i got in pr that are new releases the first one is this nomadic glam collection from florasis so this was really cool i love this like western themed inspo so it's like turquoise and leather very much like saddles and you know studs so this is the palette called the into the wild palette and it's basically a neutrally palette i think i'm gonna play with this on either Instagram or YouTube, we'll see, but I just wanted to show it to y'all. And they also came out with a powder. They always do powders. So this is like a pressed powder. I don't really know if I'm gonna use it, but I just wanted to show it to you guys. It's a white powder. And they also sent me a cream blush as well as a lip stain. So this is what the lip stain looks like. And then this is the cream blush, a really pretty, like, I don't know. It looks like it's a naturally terracotta shade. So I haven't swatched it yet, but I'm very excited. And thank you to Fluorasis for sending this my way. It is already available. So I will link it in the pinned comment down below. And like, how fun is this bag? It's so cute. Next, I also got a PR package from ColourPop. This was so unexpected, but so lovely because I was kind of eyeing this collection. I already did a full swatch video on my Instagram, so check it out there. But there are some cool products here, and I've never tried a color-changing sponge, I don't think. So this heart sponge, it basically turns pink when it's wet, so I'm very excited for that. And then they also launched a new product. So this is their Lip and Cheek Balm. So they're a multi-use product. They're a spin-off of their viral heart blushes that they've done a few years in a row. And these are all really pretty pink shades in different like depths. Then of course, I was so interested in this Lost in Love palette. Mine already looks pretty wrecked because I was swatching this for Instagram, but I thought this was such a cute color story. This shade right here, yours truly, it did hard pan, but I was able to like scratch it and swatch it for Instagram. But I'm so excited to create a look with this collection. We also have three Jelly Mutt shadows that I've already swatched. Also different shades of pink right here. And then we have this really cute like hot coral shade. We have a Glitterly Obsessed, this is like their body glitter. So you know, if you're having an extra fun Valentine's, that might be a cool one. I know one year I went to a bachelorette party and I bought that with me. Not that particular shade, but I bought one of those glitterly obsessed with me and everybody at the bachelorette party put it on all over themselves for the pool and it was so fun. So that's a fun way to use those if you're curious about that. And then they did three of their ultra glossy lips these are so pretty definitely thought that one of these shades was like more of a hot red but i think they're just pinks 
and they're super glossy and lovely so very very thankful to Colourpop for sending this my way and I will definitely be doing a video with these. So I do love showing you guys things that brands send me as well especially if they are new products. Now we have a new line for the Sephora collection. It looks like it's called Sephora Care. And this is a Make It Glow product made for face, eyes, and body. Use it under or over makeup or targeted areas and mix with foundation. Fresh glow in a single drop, lightweight, comfortable texture in three shades. I'm so shocked that brands still keep making these products. I feel like they're so more like summer leaning for me here it is so cold outside we've got quite a bit of snow the last thing i want to do is show skin so to me it feels a little bit not right at this moment like something i'm needing but i mean it's summer somewhere right so i guess it makes sense but i definitely don't need a glowy product like that they're also doing make it bronze a cream to powder formula natural second skin finish multi-use stick for an effortless natural tan effect in four shades so that sounds more intriguing for me i do love a good stick bronzer i'm wondering if this is like a skincare slash makeup type hybrid product it doesn't say a ton i'm just going off of what trend mood is showing here so something to keep our eyes peeled upon i suppose okay here's something that I feel like everybody is so excited about and for me it's like oh gosh no no I don't I don't need this I don't care so these are the new lip liners and lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury so the lip liners are the Hollywood Beauty Icon lipstick kissing colors there seems to be five shades $25 each so these are all pinks and reds which is perfect for the time of year but I just I don't know I'm so into my like brown tone nude shades like the shade I have on today so I know so many people are so excited for the new lip products and the lip liners but for me it's a hard pass so now we have these 10 new super flattering contour defining beautifying lipsticks and then the lip liners like I said and they basically decided that everybody feels confident in pink and red so they wanted to add some new products these are launching on the 23rd so yeah I just feel like I know some people love to wear a red lip every day it's not my personal favorite but I do like to wear red lips I just picked up this Sephora kit sorry it's upside down but it looks like that it is sold out but I mainly bought it because it had the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium shade. And this actually looks really pretty on my skin tone in my opinion. So I wanted to try it out. But the pinks and reds are easier for me to say no to. So I'm going to be passing on that for now. Okay, next I did see these on the Alta website. This is a new foundation from... Makeup Revolution, it's the Skin Silk Skin Loving Serum Foundation, soft as silk, light as air, powered by skincare for a healthy glow, plump and hydrate your complexion, lightweight, breathable foundation for subtle coverage or build for that second skin effect, light to medium coverage. This honestly sounds absolutely beautiful. It says there's 20 shades. I was looking and trying to shade match myself on the Alta website and I wasn't having very good luck. Also, I did ask myself why am I buying more foundation right now? I have so many that I kind of want to use a little bit more of and I did end up buying the About Face foundation because it had so many shades. So I was curious to see if I was able to get a good shade match and I totally ended up being one of those lame people that falls for the hype. And so I bought the Laura Mercier foundation, but also because I had really good luck with a different Laura Mercier foundation back in the day, and I loved it. So I thought maybe this could be another good Laura Mercier one. So I did end up grabbing it. All the shades are basically sold out. I feel like I won the lottery getting a shade that I thought would work for me. Sorry, I digress. I go on like tangents, right? This has nothing to do with this makeup revolution foundation but honestly this did sound really nice I just wasn't sure what my shade was and I had already bought some other foundations this week so 
I did decide to pass on it. We also have from Caudalie, it looks like these are available in Europe. It is a Reno Crush Skin Tint. So this is a tinted cream, it ensures an improved and even complexion while emphasizing the natural beauty of the skin. I feel like Caudalie was so well known for their like makeup elixir spray thing. It's pretty nice. It was like all the rage a couple of years ago. All the influencers were picking them up during the Sephora sales and stuff like that. That's what they're most known for for me. So they have five shades and it looks like there's a light medium, a light medium tan type shade and then a dark shade. So definitely looks like one of those things that'll adjust depending on your skin tone. But I'm not that curious, so it is a skip for me. Here's something I really, really want to buy, but I just placed an e.l.f. order, I think at the end of last year or the beginning of this year, so I was like, Karen, you don't need it. And of course, I keep telling you guys, I'm on a lipstick no-buy. I mean, it's not really a no-buy. It's more like a buy as little lip products as you can, Karen, kind of deal. So this is the Pout Clout a Lip Plumping Pen all-in-one lip plumper, gloss, and balm that drenches lips in a sheer wash of color and shine while plumping the appearance of lips with an invigorating tingle. The juicy non-stick formula is infused with maracuja oil, watermelon, pomegranate extract for $8. So there's eight shades, and honestly, I definitely want to try one of these. Maybe the shade Bust a Move. It's like a brownie mauve shade, but... I just don't need this type of lip product. I have so many. So I'm going to go ahead and hold off for now. We also have another new Sol de Janeiro spray. Oh my gosh. By the way, I was watching... What's her name now? Kiki Chanel. And she did a video on like 10-year-olds at Sephora. Like this whole thing that's going all over TikTok with these kids going to Sephora, buying things. And there's a portion of our video, it's such a good video by the way, I'll try and remember to link her channel down below and maybe that video if you want to check it out. But um, these 10 year old girls were showing their like collections and like one of their big things is collecting the Sol de Janeiro fragrances. So I can just see their little hearts pitter pattering for this one. So. It looks like maybe for Valentine's Day, it's called Karaoke Crush. And it says, be your own summer crush with juicy notes of crisp pear, pink violet, and white cedar wood. So it looks really cute. It's a red packaging. Also, I need to know, have you guys picked up the purple fragrance yet? And if so, what are your thoughts? Do I need it? Let me know. Now we have a new to the US beauty brand coming from Australia. It says it's called MC or MCO Beauty, I guess. You might have seen them on your TikTok for you page as they're known for viral high-end dupes. They are known for providing super high quality products at an affordable price. All products are under $30. So it looks like it's an Australian dupe brand. Right away in this picture on Trend Mood, I see what seems to be the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Looks like they made some dupes for the Drunk Elephant Bronzino Drops. They've got the little poof things that look like Charlotte Tilbury. Um, there seems to be this lip balm that looks just like the Laneige lip balm. So very, very similar to what we currently have here on the market. It looks like it's going to go into Kroger stores and then I don't know what these other places are. Are these also stores like Ralph's, Fred Meyer, Smith's? I don't have any stores like that in my town, so I'll probably never see this. But I mean, I've definitely dabbled in dupes. I feel like they're kind of like a necessary evil um, it'll be interesting to see how that brand does. Next we have from KKW, they're relaunching under the skin makeup line or the skin brand, I guess. So Skin Makeup by Kim Kardashian, inspired by Kim's iconic smoky eye and nude lip. So there are soft matte lip colors, $32.00. 10 full coverage velvety matte lipsticks. We've got lip liners in 15 shades for $22. 
And then the classic matte eyeshadow palette for 50, 12 warm and cool nude shadows in silk matte finishes. So, I mean, I don't know what else we would expect from Kim Kardashian's makeup line. This reminds me so much of the all matte palette that Makeup by Mario has, and he's her makeup artist, so this totally looks like it fits the vibe of her line, as well as something he's already done. Now, I will say I have a deep appreciation for these nude lip liners and lipsticks. I feel like she got quite a bit roasted by people that are like, these all look the same, and I totally get it. But let's just talk about all the mom lip liners and lipsticks that brands make that to me all look the same. So I appreciate the nuanced differences in these browns for different undertones and things like that. I'm just so happy that somebody did so many brown lip products without that mauve undertone because I'm so sick of mauve lipsticks. So yeah, I'm kind of here for it. I'm not going to lie. The eyeshadow palette, we already have like a thousand of these, so we probably don't need it. But I know that some people that love KKW or even makeup artists, I can totally see them picking this up for their makeup kit. So it looks like there's going to be another Trend Mood box. This is volume 23. Now, I had bought quite a few Trend Mood boxes in the past, but there hasn't been one recently that I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to try every single product in this box. I like how she shows you everything you're going to get before, so it's not a mystery box, and some of them have really good deals in them, but I just haven't been drawn to one recently. But in this volume 23, we've got the Magic Water Cream Refillable Gel Moisturizer with Niacinamide from Charlotte Tilbury. Now that's not something I'm interested in, but I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled to see what else is included in her next box. We have a new cleanser from Road Beauty. This is the Pineapple Refresh, a refreshing balm to lather daily cleanser. Leave your skin clean, soft, and bouncy post-rinse. Gentle enough for a morning and evening use. Safe for sensitive skin. Removes dirt, SPF makeup, impurities. Cleanses without stripping or drying skin. Now, I will say Hailey Bieber probably wakes up every morning and, you know, has like a full-blown skincare routine. We basically don't live in the same tax bracket the same universe, the same anything, so I can't ever expect to try her skincare and have my face look like hers, obviously. But, you know, kudos to her for making a cleanser. I've never tried anything from her collection. I have no intentions, but I do see them send out PR, and I've seen people cover the product line, and I haven't heard anything about people's faces burning off, so... I guess it's not so bad. You guys let me know if you've tried anything. We have a new product from Dior. So this is the New Glow Dior Forever Glow Maximizing Highlighter as well as the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter. So we basically have a liquid highlighter as well as a illuminating fluid. So again, very much similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and some beautiful liquid highlighters so it says that these are infused with fine pearls create a healthy glow we've got six shades and then the filter we have in 10 shades again I feel like it's very repetitive right it's not anything that's knocking my socks off or that I'm going to be running to but I think if you're a Dior fan you might be interested in checking those out correct me if I'm wrong we have a new collection from Catrice. Uh, clearly Catrice is ripping everybody off here. We've got a heart shape highlighter that looks just like the Colourpop ones. We've got these heart stamped like blushes that look just like Kaja. So Catrice is like, let me take one of everything that works for other brands and make it for myself. Okay, next we have from Ulta, we've got some new things. We have the Winky Luxe Cheek Rose liquid blushes for $19. Now, Winky Lux was so well known for those beautiful, intricate rose blushes. I don't know if they've done any more of those, but every once in a while I see them in my Target and I'm like, oh my gosh, remember when everybody was dying for those? So they've come out with these little 
liquid shaker looking products. Reminds me so much of the Lancome, what they call the juicy shakers? Oh my gosh, remember the hype for those? Anyway, it looks cute. I'm not really into Winky Lux. I feel like their products have never really appealed to me. So I'm skipping on that. But you best believe Flower Beauty came out with some new liquid blushes. And they're in the poofy packaging. And I have the Flower Beauty like liquid blushes that they just have in the tubes. I have pretty much every shade. So when I saw that they came out with five new blushes in poofy packaging, I bought them all because I'm a savage. And I love Flower Beauty, so I bought all the shades and I definitely will swatch them for you guys on Instagram and definitely be talking about them in a testing new makeup video. Cannot wait to see those in person. Um, next we have from Girl On. They are launching a tinted lip oil, Kiss Kiss Me Glow Oil, honey infused tinted lip oil formulated with 92% natural origin ingredients. Nourishing, plumping, 24-hour care. So there's six shades. These look so juicy and hydrating. I love the Honey Glow shade and the Peach Glow shade. I am on a lipstick low, 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 low buy. So I'm going to be skipping those, but they do look delicious. We also have these new Maracuja Juicy Eye and Cheek Palettes from Tarte. Now, when I saw this revealed, I only saw one shade, but it looks like they actually created two palettes. So there's a peach and pink palette and a red and berry palette. The red and berry palette, do you see that red blush? Do you see that? That is like a siren call to my soul. If it wasn't Tarte and if the rest of the palette wasn't so incredibly boring, I might actually be persuaded. But it's $52 and I know I will never use any of those eyeshadows, so I'm going to skip on it. But oh my gosh, I would love to see that in person. It looks very intriguing. Tarte is like shocking me a little bit. Okay, we have a new shade of the Gloss Balm from Fenty. This is Fuchsia Flex Shimmering Holographic Deep Fuchsia. Makes lips look instantly fuller and non-sticky. I feel like these Fenty gloss bombs have like a cult following. I'm not a part of the cult following, but I think that is an incredibly cute shade. We also have new lip bombs. These look so cute. So this is from Breeze Bomb. I've never heard of them, but it is a ice cream inspired lip balm. So they've got mango sorbet, sherbet sprinkle, Bubblegum Dream. These look so, so cute. This picture of the lip balms between ice cream. The ice cream looks so tasty. 10 out of 10 for the photography. I'll give them that. Okay, so I think I talked, or maybe I didn't talk about this. This is the reveal of the Heart's Desire collection from Pat McGrath. This is available now on the Sephora website as well if you wanted to pick it up there. So I had been like ranting about this and I think when I filmed my episode two, we had only seen the packaging, we hadn't seen the inside, but now we've seen all the products, it's already launched, like I was sick for two weeks, so I couldn't film part three in a timely fashion, so now you can get my reaction to this. So I will say I love the like terracotta lip shade, Loki Wanted is a terracotta rose neutral matte, don't want the shade called Honey Haze. That's going to be too light for me, in my opinion. The highlighter also looks beautiful. It's called Nude Opal. $62. Again, I did see this on Sephora, so I was like, mm, should I do it? But then I'm like, do I really need another highlighter? Like, the answer is no. What I need to do is wear more of the highlighters I have, but it is tempting me. I'm not going to lie. And then, of course, I mean... We all know that I am kind of disappointed in the eyeshadow quad. I was really hoping that she would go off of the packaging, give us a beautiful red. Even if she did like a matte red, like a red, red, like berry red shade with like a blue shimmer and like two neutrals, I think we would have been set. But no, we have more pink and purple. I will say I saw the most beautiful look on her Instagram. Like it looks stunning, but... I mean, we have these shades, Pat. Just stop. Please, please just stop. Oh my gosh, you're disappointing me already. And, and it's only the first month of the year. So yeah, I feel like Pat McGrath is going to try and be the most disappointing brand of 2024 as well. So yeah, I was really sick when this launched on the Pat McGrath website. So I didn't get a chance to give it its proper roasting. But now that I'm starting to feel better, 
I'm really upset about this. I feel like we should write a letter. Okay, next we have from Kylie. This is her new foundation. It's the Power Plush Longwear Foundation. Instantly blurs skin to leave you with a flawless airbrush finish that stays put for 12 hours with medium buildable coverage, new foundation brush and setting spray. So I will say 40 shades is wonderful. There seems to be a really great gradient of shades from light to deep, deep, deep. So that's really cool. I would definitely love to see reviews on this, but like I said, I've already bought two foundations this week, so I'm gonna go ahead and not buy any more foundations for quite some time, unless something really intriguing comes around. Next we have from Kiko. I always joke that they have so many releases and when I look at the trend mood caption, like this, this much is new products. So there's eye pencils, face masks, eyeshadow palettes, highlighters, glosses, iPads, duo blushes, lip balms, nail lacquer, perfume, highlight, mascara, eyeliner, headband, all of the things. Um, it looks to be a very cute collection. I love the packaging. That blue is very, very stunning. It's all an easy pass for me though. Okay, I can't remember if I talked about this on New Makeup Releases episode two, but Natasha Denona also launched a berry collection. I think this is so cute because it's definitely targeting Valentine's Day for me in my mind, but there isn't an eyeshadow palette. So I think this is such a fun way to do something a little bit more curated for Valentine's. I was going to say the holidays, but I can already hear you guys going, Karen, Valentine's Day is not a holiday. It's a made up day. Totally get it. It's still really fun though. So there is a lip product. So there's two lip products actually, a lipstick and a lip crayon. The lipstick is 27, the lip liner is 24, and then this trio is 48. I'm actually wearing the trio on my face today and I also showed it on my Instagram. So if you wanna see it there, you can. But I was definitely tempted to buy all three products and then I remembered Karen, you're on a lip product no buy, so I did go ahead and skip it. Okay, next we have from Essence. They're launching some new Lash Princess mascaras. So they launch a brown shade and they also launch a primer. I'm definitely too low maintenance to, to use a mascara primer, but I feel like, you know, it does work. I'm just not into it. I know the Lash Princess mascara from Essence is like a hero product from them, so. That's really cool that they're offering more shades. Next we have this beautiful Chanel Winter Collection. Oh my gosh, those blushes, are you kidding me? They're so gorgeous. There's also some eyeshadow palettes. We've got some lip balms. We've got a glow primer, some nail colors. I will say if I could buy one thing in this collection, it would definitely- Sorry, my camera cut me off, so I don't know where I was, but I was definitely talking about how gorgeous these blushes are and how I wish I could buy them. I feel like Chanel is just like a little bit, just a little bit too pricey for my non-existent makeup budget right now. So yeah, I'm not gonna be getting it, but oh my gosh, those blushes look so cute and I'm totally jealous if you have them. Okay, so I told you guys, Sephora Collection, is launching a Sephora Cares or like a Care line or something. And it looks like these are new multi-purpose cream blushes. Natural Healthy Glow Anti-Doll Complexion Care. Want to wake up your complexion with a burst of colorful freshness? This multi-use cream blush from the Care Sephora Collection range meets your expectations. So Trend Mood posted the highlighter and the bronzer. This is on makeup on your radar and she's posting these blushes. They do look so cute. That like apricot orangey shade you guys know is calling to me. This definitely looks like one of those things that is gonna launch and then it's gonna get discontinued eventually. It looks like it's available at Sephora France and it's coming to the US soon, so we'll have to keep our eyes peeled on that new line from Sephora. Looks like Aviv is sneak peeking a new product launching on the 25th, so I'll have to keep my eye out for that because they make some really cute things. We also have a new launch coming from Linda Hallberg Cosmetics or LH Cosmetics, so it looks like maybe it's a lip product? Question mark? What do you think it is? Let us know down below. 
Okay, it looks like Beauty Bay is also sneak peeking something. I think this might be a Valentine's palette. I'll definitely have to keep my eyes peeled for this, but it says meet us at the after party. Something new is going to be there. So I'm very excited because I love the Beauty Bay eyeshadows. So I've been missing it. I feel like they haven't done a ton of palettes this past year. So yeah, definitely ready for that. Okay, you guys know I'm not a single eyeshadow girly, but these from Make Beauty Official. It looks like Hermes, don't you think? I feel like they just look like little Hermes compacts. I had to actually like zoom in and go to the account and realize that it wasn't Hermes, but these are multi-chromatic eyeshadows and they're launching on the 23rd. Super cute, that packaging is adorable. What do you guys think? Have you tried the brand? Will you pick those up? Okay, so I almost forgot to talk about this launch and I believe they're sending this to me. So DD Signature is launching some new products. It looks like they're adding some mattes. So this is part of their Sister to Sister collection. January 25th, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. $32. The palette consists of 12 total shades, 4 duochromes, and 8 of our new reformulated mattes. So I will put up a picture. They're also coming out with a new quad. This is the Taste of Guava, $16.99. So I think I'm getting both of those things in PR. I will definitely post about them if I do. But I'm so excited because I've never had ma any major issues with Dee Dee's mattes from what I remember. Um, their new mattes or their new palettes have had really great mattes in my humble opinion. But I feel like it's always great when brands can take feedback and make their products even better so I cannot wait to try because I'm sure I will not be disappointed by them. Okay so next we have the new Electrum Cosmetics Heartbreaker 2 palette. This looks really pretty. It's seven stunning shifty sparkly multichromes, one super sparkly multichrome topper and one grungy shifty holochrome. So it's launching on the 26th and this is $75. I've never tried Electrum Cosmetics, but I would love to hear from you guys if it is worth checking out. Have you had good experiences with them? I also was looking at the Terra Moon palette, and that one was also $75, and I really wanted to get it, but I'm trying to save money, and so the only way for me to actually save and do it effectively is to just not buy anything. And it's been really hard because I've been sick, I've been sad, so I did shop a little bit on Sephora. I bought the Prada makeup because I was so curious about it. And then I did buy those Flower Beauty blushes. I already have some things in my Sephora cart today, but I'm trying to just pretend it's not there because as soon as I start, it just spirals. So let me know if you can relate. I also went to the store the other day and they had a ton of like new summer stuff out and so I did buy my kids some summer clothes because they sell out so fast so I did that so I spent like 100 bucks doing that and I'm like listen now I need to stop because if I keep going I'm gonna have like $500 left in my bank account and that's not how we roll okay so yeah that's just me talking about money because it's interesting. I really enjoy when creators share and this is like somebody that very much loves makeup, very much wants to buy everything, trying to have at least like an ounce of self-control and share what's working for me right now. Next we have from the brand Sinful Echoes. This is their new release and restock. So I think they've had this palette already but Oh my gosh, this looks so beautiful. Some really pretty duochrome shades. I like it. It's got a really pretty like Christmassy vibe. I thought this was a new palette, but now that I read it out loud, I think it's an existing one. And they just did a restock. Okay, I've been seeing this everywhere. I think this is a new brand. It's called Krypton Cosmetics. Sorry if I butchered that, but they're launching a Burned Forest palette six shimmers with black bases and there's also some matte shadows so this looks very very cute 
Six mattes, four multi-chromes, one shimmer, and one mixed shade available in February. So yeah, this is a new brand. The owner is also tagged in the bio, so we can always go check it out. Ooh, okay, so this is the person that does those palettes for the Cleona shadows, I think. I think. I'm just like talking out loud now, but very cool. Definitely going to keep an eye out for that brand. Okay, this is kind of low-key interesting to me. So Glow Recipe is getting ready to launch their new watermelon glow niacinamide hue drops tinted serum. And basically it's the bronzing drops in the shade Sun Glow. And it looks like they're Glow Recipe Primer, like the Watermelon Primer, which I actually think is pretty. But this is a bronze version. Could be really nice for the summer. Like, I usually reject, like, all things like this because I'm like, I don't need to be even more brown than I already am. But this product, the original format, I do really like. So, like, a little bit of a hint of glow with this, mm, I think that could be a winning combo. Definitely going to keep my eyes out for that. Okay, so here's something that I feel like I haven't bought in forever. We've got some new Sonia G brushes with Beautylish. This is the Keaki Kasi Shibu brush. I have no idea, you guys. Let's see. Is there a price? $240 launching on the 23rd of January. I'm not surprised. That's usually what the price of these products are. So, yeah. I think they're beautiful. If I had $240, I would definitely splurge on those brushes because I have some Sonia G brushes and they're wonderful. Okay, it looks like It's Belle is coming out with something new. It says, Darling, the moon is still the moon in all of its phases. So it looks like it's a moon-themed palette. Definitely going to keep my eyes out for that. I'm interested to see what the color story is. Moira launched new shades of their Love Heat Cream Blush. So they're $8.50 or $75 for the bundle. There's a lot of different shades of pink, so those look very perfect for lighter skin tones. And then we have some beautiful saturated tones as well. So these look so cute. I think I tried Moira for the first time last year, and I haven't bought anything since, but those look absolutely stunning. Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about, and then we're going to finish up this video. We have a little sneak peek from Wicked Widow Beauty. So I do have a code with them. I sometimes get PR. I don't always get PR. I'm a little bummed because I want to buy their newer palette. That's like the big rainbow palette. But I ended up, I don't know, I think I missed the launch. So that's still definitely on my mind as something I would like to pick up, but it looks like they're launching something new, so I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes peeled for that. Okay, friends, that is it for this week's new makeup releases. I feel like I talked your ear off. Let me know what makeup products you are most looking forward to this week. I love chatting to you guys in the comments. Like I mentioned, this look is coming to my channel very, very soon. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in a new video very, very soon. Bye!